Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I again welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So in this today's tutorial, we are going to do with bit magic. So we are going to cover some interesting tricks. So let's uh, get started with the tutorial. So for the first case, what we are going to cover, we are going to take uh, an integer n and convert it into binary. So take an integer n and convert it into binary. So let's uh, let's take an uh, so let's take int int to binary. So we'll take an integer n and we would return st uh, we would return str of bin n and would slice it to the two indices because I told you uh, in the previous uh, uh, like. Uh, uh, I told you like if I take an n is equal to 5 and then convert it equal to s is equal to bin n and then if I type s then I would get 0 b 1 0 1 so we would slide this slice this to the two indices so then we get 1 0 1 okay so it's quite inter interesting but uh, what if this I'll do this uh, let me do uh, let me uh, get s okay s is equal to s of 2 okay now i have s now s is 101 so this simplifies the binary representation of 5 here is 101 so pretty simple for n is equal to 5 binary that is s is equal to 101 okay simple this is very simple we have s is equal to 101 but if I want to convert this, this into and uh, supposing this is a binary binary number and if I want to convert it back to the decimal value that for that what I want it right now is that for binary s is equal to 101 I want an n is equal to 5 output. Okay, so I want this as an output. But how can I do this? Okay, let me take b as a variable just for a temporary variable b okay okay i'll take a as a temporary variable and i'll type int s okay now i'll type a so oh this is an issue the this is the very uh, issue the, here here the issue comes like here you can see that if i convert into an integer so for int s i get an integer of 101 but this answer is wrong this is incorrect what i want is for binary s is equal to 101 i want an integer n is equal to 5 because i want the computer to interpret this as a binary binary number i don't want it because if i want to get for 101 i want an output 5 so what i'll do i'll take another variable b is equal to int s now here you can see by default the base is equal to 10 so the date converted 101 to 101 binary string to 101 i repeat 101 binary string to 101 but if i do base is equal to 2 now i'll get the output as 5 okay so here you can see so def int to bin this is the integer to binary now if you want to convert define bin to int so we are doing a vice versa process so the parameter here will be passed as a string now then return int s with base 2 okay so we will define some test cases while t t is equal to t minus 1 uh, we will take t as an input t is equal to int input and then we are going to what we are going to take we are going to take an integer n is equal to int input then for this what we are going to do we are going to do type print uh, we'll we have an integer n and from that we we are going to convert a binary string is equal to int int to bin n and this would return a binary string because int to bin would return us a binary string 
then what we are going to do uh, then we are going to do integer is equal to bin to int bin to int a uh, binary string so this would convert back us to the binary string okay so and then we can print n comma integer and we can also print n equal equal to integer so let's do it so uh, n integer uh, I'll, I'll print the binary string also binary string yes so this would be a good output to see so let's get start with the test cases yes so we have test cases let me take five uh, uh, three test case test cases so here you can see first i had put the input seven then then now when i printed the values the first one was a seven then i got the binary string as one on one then after converting the binary string to back to the integer that is an integer value then i got integer and then i compared n is equal to equal to integer that was true so let me do it for five yes for first i got n is equal to five then binary string is equal to one zero one then i converted back it to back it to the integer because i had passed here the binary string so i then i had passed the binary string then and converted back it to the integer then n is equal to integer that is true so this was our first um, uh, program now we'll quickly perform another program okay now another program i'll perform that is uh, is the kth bit set so so i would put a comment here binary to int end back so we convert convert binary to end now we have an another program that would define is kth bit set so this would determine if our number integer n has a kth bit set from the right okay so we'll what we'll do so it, it will det determine if our uh, integer n has a kth bit set from the right so let me check kth bit n and we have a formula if if n and one left shift k minus one this would return this would print set else print not set So this would uh, return. Uh, this would print. So what we can do, and before that, print n comma k. And now, k bit set from right. So this would program would return the k bit set from right. Then we would uh, I would uh, print this also. Print. Okay. So let me have some test cases here. Then we define kth bit. So so let me do one thing. I'll do this. N comma k is equal to map. End comma input split. Then I would call the function kth bit n comma k. So let me, yeah. So let me take some good num amount of test cases. Ten test cases. Okay. For the five number, we can see the first bit from right. I said the first bit from right is set. Yes, it is set. The fifth for five number, the second bit, the second bit from right is not set. It it it, it because it is zero. Then for five, three. Yes, the third bit from right is set. Then for seven comma one, it is true. Then seven comma two, it is true. Then seven comma three, it is true. Then the six comma one, 
the first bit from right because in the seven all the three bits were set in this uh, for the number six the first bit is not set now for six comma two it should be set and for the six comma three it should be set because the second and the third bits are set so this is that uh, we did our uh, next program now uh, one last program which we can do is a very important one and what we can do so okay what we can do uh, we can create an array of an integers uh, i'll tell you okay suppose i have a list of integers uh, the num i have a list of integers uh, in which 5 comma uh, i first create the array 3 comma 2 comma 3 comma 2 comma 1 comma 5 the numbers can be in any order but if you observe that every number occurs twice 5 is occurs twice it can be in any order 3 occurs twice 3 occurs twice 2 occurs twice 2 occurs twice but 1 is the only number which occurs only one every number occurs twice except one number which could be any so uh, okay which could be any every number occurs twice except one number so let me do this every number occurs twice we we need to find we need to find the number which occurs only once okay so the property we are going to use i'll tell you let me do 5 or 5 every number with a zor of itself 5 zor 5 3 zor 3 2 zor 2 every number with a zor with itself is a zero but and every number 2 zor 0 let me do it and every number the zor with itself uh, sorry the zor with zero is the number itself because so i'll write this property n zor n is equal to zero but n zor zero is equal to and here you can verify this property 5 zor 5 zor 0 is equal to 5 and 3 zor 0 is equal to 3 n zor n is equal to 0 n zor 0 is equal to n okay for this what we are going to do uh, we are going to take an array input array is equal to list map int comma input dot split so we have an array and now we need to define find single occurring find single occurrence and array so for that what we are going to do we'll take a result is equal to array of zero for i in range one to len array because we need to result is equal to result zor array of i okay then we would return result okay so this is our next program so and now i would call the function find single occurrence of array and i need to print this value because i would get the value from a return statement okay so so here you can see now i'll take one test case here and the test case would be this 5 3 2 3 2 1 5 and i get the answer 1 as the single occurrence element so let me take another uh, because 5s or 5 would be 0, 2s or 2 would be 0, 3s or 3 would be 0 but then in the end I would have got 0s or 1 which 0s or 1 must have satisfied this property so that is 1. So let me take another input. So one more test case is I will take every number, uh, number which occurs twice. So 3 occurs twice, 4, 4, 3, any order 2, 2, 7, 6, 6, 20, 10, 20, 10. Here you can see 3 occurs twice, 4 occurs twice, 2 occurs twice, 6 occurs twice, 20, 20, 10, 
10 every element occurs because 7 is the only number which occurs only once so output should be 7 yeah here it is the 7 is the output so thank you guys for the watching with this video i'll catch up in the next tutorial